Isabel Everett with a national news briefing. New South Wales has announced an end of all quarantine from November 1. Premier Dominic Perrottet says international arrivals won't need to complete it at home either. Those people coming into Australia, whether it's a tourist returning Australian, that you will need to do a PCR test before uh, you board the flight um, and that you will need to show proof that you're double vaccinated. So for double vaccinated people right around the world, uh, Sydney, New South Wales is open for business. Meantime, the state is due to hit an 80% fully vax target this weekend, meaning from Monday people can stand up at the pub and caps on weddings will be scrubbed. It's unclear whether Queensland's border will stay shut for longer following New South Wales quarantine announcement. Chief Health Officer Jeanette Young says she's still trying to work out what it means for the Sunshine State. There's just been an enormous change this morning that I haven't been able to get my head around, so I need to go and work out what that change means. And it's not just a change that will impact on New South Wales, opening the borders to New South Wales then leads to a flow-on to every other state. Victoria has announced an extension of Mildura's seven-day snap lockdown to last until October 22. Meantime, from Tuesday, fully vaccinated people from red zones in New South Wales will be allowed into the state without having to quarantine. Vic recorded 2,179 COVID cases overnight and another six people lost their lives to the virus. And a big step forward for Coles. The supermarket giant will get all its electricity from renewables by 2025, putting pen to paper on the ambitious target this week. Open your ears to a new world of audio, radio, podcasts, music and news. Catch Carrie and Tommy and much more on Listener. Download the new app and listen for free. Don't expect much from our Aussies when the T20 World Cup campaign begins next weekend against South Africa. Cricket scribe Robert Craddock says their lead-up form hasn't been all that good. Australia are ranked all the way down at number seven in yeah. T20 World Cup rankings below Bangladesh, and it's not an undeserved ranking. The Melbourne Stars are licking their wounds after a six-wicket loss to the Sixers in their WBBL opener in Hobart last night, and the Magpies have delisted Braden Sire and Jay Rantle. <laughs> Buying or selling rural or residential properties? Miller, Wan and John. This is SAFM Weather. Partly cloudy skies on the limestone coast this evening as we drop to 4 degrees overnight. Tomorrow, possible showers and 16. Sunday, possible showers again, 17. For radio, podcasts, music and news, download the free listener app.